it's really interesting because now like collaborations are like, you know, ubiquitous, like every company does it, you know, it's like, you know, Adidas and Gucci, you know, I mean, everyone does it, like whether you're the biggest companies in the world or really small companies. And we actually launched in 2013 with a collaboration. And okay, what I really saw, so I mean, not that we, we and there was people doing it for sure, but it wasn't as ubiquitous as it is now where like literally everyone does it. But I think what, what we saw early on or what I saw early on is that there was a just it just made common sense to leverage two audiences versus one audience. So yeah. especially in those first couple of years, we weren't going after huge partners. We were looking at other artists, designers, companies that had a similar following, a similar audience um, that were sort of at maybe a similar level. So it felt very equitable. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't, you know, that one was huge and one was small or, you know, one was kind of dragging the other one along. It felt very equitable. And I mean, immediately that like doubled our reach, right? I mean, it just felt very kind of common sense to me. And what we were doing or what we were trying to build with Chasing Paper that, you know, we didn't see a lot of was just creating collections that were incredibly one of a kind. Um, you know, there's so much sameness in design and certainly in wallpaper and fabric. Um, you know, it can completely like scramble your brain because sometimes you're like, I've seen this before and you can't place it, but a lot of it runs together. So we wanted to try to create collections that felt, you know, very special, that felt nostalgic, all of the great things that sort of go along with wallpaper. 